Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to lower your temperatures on your Ryzen 7 4000 series processor. Uh, mostly the Ryzen 5 4600H and the Ryzen 7 4800H. So basically you know if you have one of these computers it runs 90 plus degrees Celsius playing any type of games. So so there's that, and this one has the 2060, so it runs a little bit even hotter. So I was running into a problem where I was hitting 95 degrees Celsius. And, you know, I didn't really like that. So what I'm going to show you is basically how to disable the boosting, which is more just marketing, really. It doesn't really matter for games. Um, 2900 megahertz is perfectly fine, especially across eight cores and most games. Some you know, you might find one or two that's kind of picky about it if you're trying to get 144 frames per second. But <clears throat> um, but anyway, this will work for most games. You won't you won't see a performance decrease. Um, so basically, let me show you what to do. So there's like a secret power option, and to get that power option, you're want to going to want to go to your registry editor. Yes. And then you want to go to H key local machine and then system and then current control set and then control and then you want to scroll down and find power. And there it is and it's already open. And then you want to go and click. So you'll open power. And then you'll scroll down and find power settings. So under power settings, we're going to look for 5453325182BE. Uh, five, and that's this one right here. That long one there. So you'll click that one. And then under that one, you're going to look for BE337238 0D82. So you'll scroll down until you find that. And we'll start with a BE. And there you go, it's already open for me. But that's what that one looks like there. You open that. And then you'll go down and go to okay. Yes, okay, so you get this one. And then over here where it says attributes, right there. Right there, you're gonna see a one. I've already changed mine. Here's what you'll see. So you're gonna want to change that to a two and click OK. And then this right here is going to read 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, whatever, 2. And then after you do that, you know, just leave that open. And there's going to be um, another option now under power. So you're going to want to edit power plan, change advanced power settings, scroll down. And you see processor power management. You want to go there. And now there'll be a processor performance boost mode. That wasn't there before. You're going to click that. And it's going to say aggressive. So that's basically taking your processor and aggressively boosting it, you know, and causing all that heat. Um, there's tons of different options here. Basically, the, base, the best one is just disable it. And you see mine's under high performance. So you can easily change this in, in the armor you create if you have ASUS or anything like that and attach it to different profiles so it's easy to switch off and on. Um, you know, it's active on high performance for me. On balanced power saver, I leave it uh, to aggressive because it doesn't really, if you're not gaming, you're not getting that much heat anyways. Um, and plus, if I'm editing something, I want to enable those that boost back. But for gaming, 
it makes really no difference. And you're going to see way better temperatures. Um, I played over an hour of Call of Duty Warzone and never saw it go above 82 degrees Celsius. So that's that. I hope that helps some of you out, and if it does, maybe hit subscribe, give it a like, comment, let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, yeah, just, just be really careful what you're doing, especially in the registry editor, and follow those directions exactly. Basically, you're just opening a secret option in Windows. You're not changing anything. Um, but yeah, it's for these processors here, it's basically what this is for. And um, all right. Thanks. You guys have a good one.